Hey, welcome back to the big board. Thought I might check in here with Bloody Monday, uh, mainly because we got to a pretty interesting stopping point, which uh, kind of happened after a series of cascading events that uh, brought a, a dramatic end to the battle. And while you may look at the, the board and go, well, it doesn't look like one side or the other has really taken that much of a beating versus the, the other side, there's some, a couple of things that, have, that happen here for this game. If you play it out for the full four turns, uh, you end up taking a look at uh, victory point locations, these little gold stars. There's another one here, the Great Redoubt here. Uh, and if uh, you know, that's all equal, uh, then you'll... Uh, well, so I don't think it can be equal because I think there's seven on the board. So there's you get to that point. But the other way the game ends with a victory for one side or the other is a sudden death victory. And uh, that's where we've kind of struck a little, a little bit of a problem for the, for the Russians. Because I believe uh, I may have defended too aggressively uh, these, these redoubt locations and kept counterattacking and, and whatnot, uh, we've put ourselves in a difficulty where we should have perhaps paced ourselves and let some of these stronger reinforcements that here... Uh, which these all just came onto the board. Now, these all just came onto the board this turn. I just can't see them, but those guys right there at the far end right there. So, at the very beginning of turn two, uh, keep in mind that uh, each turn can have many activations in it, up to the, the limit of your leaders, your band of leaders, uh, stars on their sticker. So, what happened? Well, here's what happened. Uh, we we activated just three leaders. Be, I, let me keep going there. I, I have a minor distraction. Uh, so, as I said, you can have multiple activations. And what we did is we activated three leaders because we only have three pips left on Napoleon because we went through a reinforcement uh, logistics phase and put, brought some... Uh, recharged our leaders, recharged our artillery, brought some reinforcements on the board, which are here, and uh, also uh, re restocked some of our, our troops with, uh, with uh, replacements. So we activated, we attacked here, one, here. Oh, this, you know what? This attack wasn't supposed to happen, and that's okay. So we'll put this guy back here, because I can only do three attacks. Uh, so we'll have to leave that uh, static. So we did one attack here and resolved that and won that and killed two units. And then we uh, attacked here, this is the second attack, and this had one reduced, uh, very strong red-pipped uh, cavalry unit. And we, we went all in here with uh, a full artillery blast of four, and I've rotated that down for, to represent its, uh, its reduction. And uh, then we did Let's see, then we did uh, this attack here, which was two red units, but also another artillery unit with four red pips. We moved this guy up, <coughs> excuse me, he was here, we moved him up to here, and we killed one unit there. Well, those three units, uh, four units uh, that were in place, one, two, three, four, means that we've tripped over our, our sudden death uh, kicker, which is a real bummer because I'm going to move around the outside of the table and I'll show you what was going on with the Russians. And, and I think that this is not uh, overly easy play that I've been conducting. I have taken significant losses with the French. Uh, you know, we've got some of these, some of the high-end cavalry units are down to one pip. Uh, these guys are down to one pip. I've been rotating forces out and bringing fresh units in. These guys are getting the snot kicked out of them here. So, uh, and then uh, we just brought um, we just brought the guard forces on. I was hoping to get to use those, but that's not going to be the case. So I'll talk a little bit about the Russians in one sec. Come on. Just swing around the other side. No need to uh, pause the camera. Okay, so I have uh, all of these units that are red. We couldn't bring those chaps into the gameplay. Uh, yet all these guys here, uh, the red banded forces, because their commander was not on the field, and now he's now on the field, 
uh, he came in on this reinforcement turn with these four units or three units plus himself. So that would have been, that would have enabled me to bring very heavy, uh, high quality units in. The green dots are representing Russian forces, but they hit on a three, four, five, or six. So they're pretty powerful. So this, you know, my activation for the Russians this turn really would have been one, two, three into here with this supporting it and just take on whatever was going on here. I'd have two leaders supporting it. The other leader is back here. We could push him up as well. So I was really looking forward to trying to push back in here and then recapturing the, the Great Vidal. Uh, some reasonably decent forces here, uh, Red Dot uh, folks from the, uh, from the second corps of the Russian forces. Also had a full cavalry corps here that's quite strong that I was uh, keen to get into the, into the battle as well. Uh, just a little tricky moving through here because this is a two stacking limit versus the green, which is four stacking limit. And the red, I believe, is only one stacking limit. I'm not sure that's correct. Uh, would be, yeah, it is. Okay, that would suck if I was doing that wrong. So, kind of a sudden, literally a sudden death victory for the French here. Got me curious about how I can now play this more effectively and. Uh, reflecting back on the history from this battle this was clearly a lot more one-sided but uh, I was very very aggressive with the French in the very first opening turns uh, not looking to try and do any flanking maneuvers or anything like that that was my original intention over here on this so I can try and squeeze in the camera in here uh, there's probably a little bit of glare there but I was trying to do a flanking maneuver here uh, it didn't really amount to much. I thought I could capture this fairly quickly, but uh, to no avail. And the one thing that we did do wrong, uh, definitely as a Russian player, was not uh, bring up additional forces and, and rotate in better units. We kind of held our ground until we died, uh, thinking that we'd be okay with our red dot units that um, could uh, you know, inflict, inflict counter damage. Uh, because both sides get to roll in the combat. So anyway, uh, it, we're done and uh, we'll probably set it up and play it again in the near future. Uh, this is one that I could probably take to the game store and we could get through, you know, half a game or three quarters of a game or maybe on a whole game if it, if it played out like this. All right, thought I'd just, just share a little note here, here with you in this regard uh, for Bloody Monday from Veto Nuevo Games. Thanks for checking in and we'll talk to you soon.